Well, good day everybody and lekker dag, Bertie. Um, <laughs> we're into the end of chapter 7 and the most challenging part out of that story for me is this. Try to pronounce the word that Jesus said in verse 34. <laughs> and once you've got it right, say it three times fast. Go for it, Bertie. <laughs> I don't even think I can get it right once. <laughs> e, 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 <laughs> Let's just go with, be open. <laughs> now listen, there's actually two very important lessons out of yeah. that little story for us about the healing of a man that is deaf and mm. is mute. And the first thing is the way in which Jesus did it, which is really strange. Um, very strange. Let me touch your tongue. Yeah. I, that's a bit Yes. Even gross for us, you know, what's happening over there. And it's strange to put his fingers into the person's ears. Yeah. We haven't seen Jesus doing that before, mm. but we don't see him doing it again either. Yeah. But he does heal deaf people and mute people. So it's not a recipe. What's happening there? Yeah. So it's so interesting to me, Garth, just as I was also reading it again, he, Jesus takes the guy, he's deaf and he's mute. He takes him, puts his hands in his ear, his fingers in his ears, yeah. and then he takes, Jesus takes his own fingers, he spits on it. My Bible says he spits on it, and then he puts it on his tongue. Yeah. And then immediately the guy gets healed. The healing happens. The healing happens. Yeah. And we chatted about it, but the fact is that we don't see, obviously, Jesus was obedient in that moment. Yeah. Um, and that obedience is just what brings the healing as well yes. and like you said there's no recipe um but also to step out in a bit of faith there because yeah. I, I had a friend uh, or i still have a friend and i remember he, he once said god clearly told him that now this is going to sound weird but god clearly told him that you have to punch this oak in the stomach yes and he's like but lord i can't do that and he wrestled so long with the lord and it's like punch the oak in the stomach and eventually he went and he's like oh and then the guy said, no, or, or he said, what are you doing? He's like, God told me to punch you in the stomach. He's like, well, then punch me in the stomach. And this guy had, I think it was a cancer in his stomach. Yes. And he just went and he punched him in the stomach. And the guy fell and the Holy Spirit took over. And the guy was healed. Yeah. An incredible testimony. But just that, Hearing take a bold move. And doing. Yeah. Hearing and then not going to the next guy who's got And punching him in the like, stomach. Okay, this is how it works. Very true. So it's the obedience yes. that brings the healing. It's yeah. not the method. Yes. You know, sometimes we think I have to pray like Bertie to see the result that Bertie. Yeah. That's not how it works. Golf, I, I really love that what you're saying because we do, it's almost you hear that everybody speaks like, I need to pray like that guy. Pray as loud as he use the words that he... And then, I mean... Are we actually hearing the Holy Spirit for no. ourselves and obeying? Because we got a relationship with God. Yeah. And He wants to speak to us. And as long as we hear and obey, it will look different. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Now, I had a challenge once with a guy who mm. um, had an elbow, a tennis elbow that for many camp. years. <laughs> and the challenge was pull the guy's arm, yeah. which obviously would have hurt. And when I asked the guy, eventually um, came around to it. There's a bit of a story to it. He said, yes, it will be sore. And the challenge is, but did I hear God? Yeah. And I think that's what we land with on all of these things, especially if the Lord asked me to do something yeah. strange. Yes. But how much more if, like Naaman in the Old Testament, the Lord tells me to do something simple, yeah. something common? Mm. Do yeah. I have faith in the fact that I've heard Him in that as well? Yes. It's not just the strange that will heal. It's sometimes just the, just yeah. lay your hands, don't, don't say a word. Yeah. And it happens. Yes. Um, so in all things to honor and, and obey him. Yeah. The other part of that story that I think we need to check on, and it, it goes with obedience as well, hmm. is the fact that uh, Jesus says to the people, don't tell anyone. Yeah. But they couldn't keep quiet. Mm. And they went and told everyone. Yeah. And that made Jesus' ministry difficult. He couldn't meet in homes anymore because there's just too many crowds around. Uh, the mm. Pharisees and the Sadducees started making the ministry harder by opposing him the whole time. Yeah. So there were real consequences to Jesus' ministry with his, their disobedience. But it seems like they did a good thing. I don't know what your thoughts are there. Yeah, I think both links for me in on the disobedience. If mm. you are disobedient and you don't listen to what God is saying, let's say uh, pull the guy's arm, that's disobedience yeah. if you don't listen and we lose out and then the other fact is 
yes, they thought they were doing something good, but they were still disobedient. The, yeah. the Lord clearly said, it's like a child. If you, a parent says to the child, I don't want you to do that. And you think, oh, I'll do it because it seems like a good idea. It's yeah. disobedience. Yes. And it, it seems right. Um, and we can try and justify it. But yet, yeah. are we listening to what God is saying? And yeah. they were probably just thinking, Ah, oh, Jesus is just being modest. Yeah, and there's humble. more people that can get healed. Or let's get him famous quicker so that more yes. people can actually hear about him. And yet, at the other hand, they were making it very difficult yeah. for him. God yeah. knew better. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the challenge for us. I don't know if you have another testimony or you want to close and pray for us at this point. No, I'll close and pray for us. Mm. So there's always many testimonies, but I'll close and pray for us. Yeah. Thanks. Mm. Yeah, Father, just thank you for, for just this part in the Bible where it teaches us about obedience, Lord obedient that we to, to be obedient that when we hear you that we will truly obey father um help us that even if it's it's so out of our box and out of our comfort zone and out of what we think is right lord mm. but if you say something to us that we would do it please lord lord help us and thank you that you that you will be with us in that also that you will yeah. help us to obey and that you will guide us lord and then i pray to actually obey you in what you say lord just like these guys thought they did a good thing but yet they were doing more damage Help us not to try and justify things for ourselves, but to really get to the place where we hear you and we listen. Father, yeah. we just honor you, and um, yeah, we can't do this without you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thanks. Mm. Thank you.